Welcome and or welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. So in this video, I will be putting to the test this Aztec Secret Health and Beauty Mask. I'm going to be applying it to my hair. I am putting it to the test because I just took out my braids and my hair is a mess. It is in a need of wash. It's in a need of deep conditioning and all that stuff. So this clay is supposed to take out all of the toxins and everything out of your hair and restore it back to its beauty. So I'm going to put this to the test and let's see how it works. So my bad y'all, I started this before the recording actually started, but what I'm doing is mixing some apple cider vinegar along with the Aztec clay and a couple different oils so that I have some moisture and I'm mixing it. The consistency is how I like it. I stuck this mixture already for my daughter's hair and I'll insert clips of those in a little bit, but just keep mixing until the consistency is where you want it. Now that I've gotten the consistency where I wanted, I'm about to start applying it on my hair. This is a nice and dirty hair that I'm applying this to. I watched a couple videos already and those said that you should probably use a conditioner of some sort underneath the mask in order to keep the moisture in your hair. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm gonna start with my Brahmi Root Deep Conditioner and then I'm going to add the Aztec clay on top of it. So what I'm doing now is just finger detangling my hair with the deep conditioner in there. And then I'm going to use my Felicia Leatherwood brush to further detangle my hair prior to adding the mask because you want to make sure your hair is fully detangled before you put that thing on. This is what the mask looks like after I have mixed it and let it sit for a little while. It is disgusting and it feels nasty going through your fingers, but uh, you can tell a difference when you put it on your hair. And I do like the way that my curls are clumping up and curling after just having it on there for a couple of seconds. Here's a close-up of this curl. Do you see that? You see that bounce back? Watch that. Watch it again. Spring. So after I've done that back portion of my hair, I realized that it was easier to just go ahead and add all the deep conditioner and then come back and add the mask on my hair. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is what the back portion of my hair looks like now that I've added the mask. So now I'm all done and I'm massaging my scalp to make sure that the, the clay mask is able to penetrate my scalp and cleanse my scalp as well as my hair. And by the way, this feels super good and don't mind me, I was watching something on my computer. What do you do with the leftover? Oh, whoa! Oh, oh excuse me. Whoa! <laughs> you add it to your face, and that's what I did. That's my girl, Jackie. So just add the leftover mask to your face. It is a purifier, so remember, it's gonna take out the toxins in your skin as well. Here's the clip of Baby Girl, and this is me taking off her deep conditioning cap. It's a hot head. And this is me um, taking that off of her head to put, I mean, to show you what the, class, the clay mask did to her hair. I can't talk right now. And this is not baby girl. This is my oldest. So she has a 4C texture. And do you see how her curls are clumped up? Oh my goodness. Um, so I really like this for her hair, definitely to give her some curls. And I think this would make a bang and wash and go for her. So here is baby girl and I'm taking off the hot head for her as well. And there is a shopping bag. I know I didn't have any shower caps, so a shopping bag had to do. 
Um, so if I can get this bag off with one hand, sorry about that, then I'll show you guys what her texture looks like. So this is her texture with just the clay mask on and I'm gonna have her give her a little shake for you guys so you can see the clumpage that's happening here in her curl pattern. Shake, 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 there you go. And this is what her texture looks like with the clay mask rinsed out. There's nothing else in her hair. And of course, I wanted to do a wash and go, but she wanted a ponytail. So I'm about to go wash this off. My face is super tight, uh, almost to the point where it hurts. So I'm about to wash this off, hopefully. Uh, my face is now a little bit clear. We'll see. This is what my face looks like after I've taken the mask off and I am pretty happy with the results. So this is me taking off my shopping bag and my hot head so that you can see what my hair looks like. It's still very damp, which is why I did that based on the reviews that I've watched so far. You wanna keep your hair damp and don't let it get too hard. So I put it under a hot head. So this is what my hair looks like after I have rinsed out all of the mask. Um, I can tell you that my hair did not look as good as my daughter's hair <clears throat> that I, once I took the mask off, but I was still very pleased with the results. It did feel clean. My curls clumped up and I was happy about it. And I think overall, I'll do it again for all of us. And I think I'm going to add this to my regimen at least once a month. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video.